Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. My name is Emma for those of you who are new and I would love it if you guys subscribed and stuck around. I'm really trying to grow my channel in 2021. I feel like it's going to be my year just all around in life, YouTube, school, just everything. I really am going to put a lot of time and effort into YouTube this year you know, planning videos, filming them, editing them, and I'm so, so excited. So if you haven't already subscribed, I'd really appreciate it. Um, let me introduce myself for those of you who are new here. My name is Emma, like I said, I am a senior in college at Kansas State University. I'm studying strategic communications, so public relations and journalism, and I graduate in May, and then I'm hoping to go to grad school either in the fall or next spring. Um, that's going to be a whole video in and of itself. I'm going to go through the whole application process and apply to schools with all of you guys. Um, but yeah, I make a lot of college and lifestyle content, you know, productivity, fashion, vlogs, that sort of thing. So I'd really love it if you guys subscribed. I'm super excited for the new year. This is my first video that I'm posting on my channel in 2021. So I would really appreciate it if you guys subscribed. You can also follow me over on Instagram. I always have it linked down below and I'll put it on the screen here. And you can also follow me on TikTok because I'm gonna start posting on TikTok in the new year as well. But whew, that's a little bit of rundown about me, but yeah, welcome to my channel. So today's video is actually just gonna be a vlog, but I just thought I would start it out because I just did my makeup and got ready for the day, even though what time is it? It's literally 5.15 p.m., but I just got ready. Um, I worked this morning, sort of just chilled until about like four, and then I got ready just to take some Instagram <laughs> pictures because I wanted to and I was bored, so I did that. But yeah, I'm just starting out with the vlog today. It's gonna be a couple of days in my life, I believe, of me just getting my freaking shit together for 2021. So I'm going to be, I have actually, where is my, oh. Here's my journal. I'm going to take you through everything that I'm going to be doing in this video. First off, I'm going to be like setting all of my goals and intentions for the year. I don't like to call them resolutions, but just like my intentions or goals for this year. I'm going to keep them very reasonable, very practical, and just a few, not like a long list of like 20 something things that are like New Year's resolutions. Just like my goals, intentions, that sort of thing. So for school, work, my finances, YouTube, that sort of thing. I'm going to be planning some of my 2021 content so at least january content for social media so like youtube and stuff like that and then i'm going to be making a 2021 vision board i'm so excited about that i'm going to be cleaning and decluttering that might be like a separate video series we'll see i don't want this video to be like just all of my video ideas in one and then i have some unboxings for you guys we're going to talk about journaling i'm going to the grocery store and I'm buying a bunch of healthy groceries to reset for the year. So I need to make my grocery list and meal plan tonight. So just a lot of just like productive stuff and just getting my whole life together because especially being out of school and just 2020, the freaking shit show that it was, I'm ready to just reset. So this is just gonna be a 2021 reset vlog sort of just prepping for the new year getting ready, setting our goals, intentions, getting into a healthy, happy mindset, lifestyle, routine, that sort of thing. And I really wanna get into a routine now and just start incorporating things in because I'm gonna to have to redo my routine once school starts again. But yeah, that was like the longest intro ever. Welcome to today's vlog. Right now, I just wanted to start off by showing you a little bit of an unboxing haul. Well, not really unboxing because I've already opened it, but just a mini haul. I went to the Bath & Body Works semi-annual sale. I always go ham at this sale every year just because I never like to buy Bath & Body Works full price. I think it's stupid, a waste of money in my opinion. But I went and it didn't like their stuff, that, like the sale wasn't even that good this year, I felt like. And it was kind of picked over when I went, even though it was like the first day of the sale. But I just got three hand soaps and a body lotion, so I'll just show you those. So I just got the Mary Cookie one, which I think is my favorite. It smells so good. I got the Snow Peach Berry as well, and then I just got the Winter one. These were all like $3 and something. I don't really know, but I just needed some new soap for my bathroom and the kitchen. And then I always like to get this body cream every year. It's my favorite like holiday scent from Bath & Body Works. So I just got the Ultra Moisture or 24 hour moisture ultra shea body cream in the vanilla bean noel so like i said their sale wasn't very good this year but i did just pick up a couple things because i would never pay 
8.50 for some soap. That's just ridiculous. So, okay, moving on to Target and what I used my gift cards for. This is very boring, but I promise I have an exciting purchase coming next. But I just have some Colgate. Um, I use the Colgate Optical White Advanced, and I get the two pack, and it's already open because I really need a toothpaste, so I used it yesterday. And then going along with oral care, <laughs> mouth, dental hygiene, there we go. I got the TheraBreath rinse. I've gone through a whole bottle of this before. It's like a TikTok find. I freaking love this stuff. And it's not as harsh or bad for you as like normal mouthwash. And then some hair care products. I just, I needed new hairspray for like three months. So I decided just to get this one. This one had really good reviews and I've never tried anything from this. OGX brand. So I just got the Bamboo Fiberfold Big Hair Hairspray. And I really like this. I like the bottle. It was $7, I think. So a little bit more than I would normally pay. But I had a birthday discount and a gift card. So I just got this and it smells really good. And I really like it so far. And then I needed hair oil as well. So I just got the Tresemme Keratin Smooth with Marula Oil. I feel like I've had this before. But it smells really good. And I really like it. I feel like my hair really looks good today, even though I haven't washed it in like a week and I need to wash it today. So that's what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to use this after the shower today and I'll tell you what I think of it. But I have this whole line, well not the whole line, but a lot of the line of the L'Oreal LV Total Repair 5. I have the shampoo conditioner and then the in shower like deep conditioner. So I just decided to get the leave-in conditioner so I can use this after the shower and this whole line just smells so good. So I'm gonna use this today when I wash my hair and see, like sleep on it and see what it looks like when it's dry tomorrow. And then last thing I'm super excited about, I'm actually gonna use them when I like journal and set my intentions today is the Zebra Durable Stainless Steel F301 3 Series 0.7 millimeter fine point black ink pen. So I'll link these down below. I love the Zebra brand and I have their like highlighters, like brush pen, like the midliner pens, I'll link those down below as well, but I really wanted to try these and they had great reviews and I'm really, really, really going to get serious about journaling and I can also use these for like planning and all that kind of stuff this year. So if I like them, I'm definitely gonna go buy more, but that's my little like boring haul, but these, this is the good stuff. But I treated myself to a new pair of shoes for Christmas and I've never had a pair of Pumas before. I ordered them on ASOS and I also have another pair of shoes coming. They were supposed to be here, but I think they were just delayed because of New Year's and stuff. So they're going to be here early next week and stay tuned for those because I will be unboxing them. I'm so excited, but I saw these shoes on TikTok and I've never seen anyone else with these shoes before, like ever in person. And I think they're exclusive to ASOS, but they are a collaboration with Puma, like ASOS and Puma. And they're the most beautiful shoes I've ever owned, like seriously. I don't know how I'm going to style them just yet. I think they would look really cute with like flared leggings and maybe some jeans. I also have one more thing I need to show you as well that I want to like get an Insta pick in. But are you ready? Like, are you sure you're ready? Like, <gasps> these are my new babies. I haven't worn them yet because I literally just got them yesterday. And like I said, I don't know how to style them. They also smell like new freaking shoes, but they're just the Puma, let me get, I'll link these down below for you guys. They were sold out. Like I wanted them so bad for like a week after I saw them on TikTok, but they were all sold out on ASOS. And then I checked on Christmas Eve and they were on sale and in my size, like one left in my size. So I ordered it really, really quick. And then I got the email that I thought was a confirmation email. So I was super excited, but then I went back to look later and it actually said that my order was unsuccessful. So I put in my card information wrong and I was so upset because they were out of stock and then I checked again a few hours later and they came back in stock. So I just ordered them on my phone with Apple Pay and they literally shipped in a week considering the holidays and stuff. So these are so beautiful. They're just the Puma Cali Sport High Top Trainers in Zebra White. I got them in a size eight and a half and honestly, they're so beautiful. Like I honestly, like I don't even know. They're so cute, I love them. They also have them in an all white that aren't exclusive to ASOS, so I'll link those down below as well, but I'm so excited to wear these babies. Let me know how you would style like high top sneakers like this. I've been looking up like Air Jordan inspo and stuff like that, um, but I don't know. I feel like flared leggings and like a puffer jacket would look so sick. Um, I'm trying to put this back in. But speaking of puffer jackets, let me go get my new winter coat that I bought from Aerie. I'll be right back.
Okay, so uh, while we're on the topic of like puffer jackets, this is the last like haul piece I'm going to show you and then we're actually going to get into like the important stuff, prepping for 2021 and stuff, but I just wanted to show you a couple of things that I treated myself to from Christmas and like working over the holidays and stuff and this year has just been so horrible that I just wanted to end it on a high note and treat myself with a couple of things and then 2021 is all going to be about budgeting, savings, growing, finances, that sort of thing, but... I got this puffer jacket from Aerie and it was on a super sale and I had a birthday coupon. Here, let me fix it. So I got it for over half off and it was free shipping to the store so I just picked it up in the store a couple days ago and I already love it so much. So it's just this shiny black puffer with the like thumb holes with the like little wrist covers and thumb holes that are the same material as Aerie leggings and then it's Sherpa lined on the inside and the hood has sharp lining and the hood is removable as well and it's just so cute it gives me major um aritzia super puff vibes like the crop super puff but i love it and it's so cute and i haven't had a really nice quality winter coat in a really long time so i just decided to treat myself to one it was literally less than 50 dollars with shipping and taxes and stuff like that and this jacket is originally 125 so i'll link it down below they also had a couple other different colors but I really love this one. It's kind of like the Aritzia look for less. So I'm super excited about that. But like I said, I'll link it down below. Uni Days also has a 20% off coupon code for like Area American Eagle. So definitely use it. But yeah, that is my little haul. Like I said, I have one more pair of shoes coming that I'm very, very excited about and I hope they fit. But I'll unbox those in a vlog next week. But I'm going to put all of this stuff away and then get into the actual fun, productive part of today's vlog, which is going to be setting my intentions, planning some content, making a grocery list, just really getting my shit together. So I cleaned yesterday and in my last vlog, I think there was like a cleaning portion um, or a couple of vlogs ago. So I'm not going to like clean or anything, but there will be a lot of cleaning decluttering videos coming in the future. Don't you worry. I always love to sort of do a nice spring cleaning like every season and especially at the start of a new year. But yeah, I'm going to put this stuff away and then we can get into setting my intentions, goals, all of that sort of thing. Alright you guys, so you are currently turned to face the mirror so right now i'm about to prep for 2021 just start doing a couple of things i have some things written down in my journal already i'm going to use my new pens but i'm not really going to share with you guys like my personal goals and stuff like that just because i'm manifesting those and i want to keep those sort of sacred and secret to me um just like personal growth sort of things just personal goals but let's let's do a little rundown of what we're going to be talking about so like i said i want to set goals and intentions for like work my finances youtube which i feel like are personal goals to me i might kind of discuss like my health goals and my youtube goals a little bit but for the most part those things are something that I want to keep to myself. I don't even I wouldn't even discuss those with like my friends, my boyfriend, my family. Those are like goals for me because when I set goals, they're for me and no one needs to know about them. And then I want to plan some 2021 content. So I'm definitely gonna ask you guys what you would like to see. Um, let me flip this around. I feel like this is weird to look at me like so please comment down below any content that you would like to see from me um, on YouTube mainly, but also follow me on Instagram and then like I said. I want to post more on TikTok in 2021 because I feel like it's just a great platform for creators, especially those who are first starting out because the algorithm is a lot easier to blow up on. It's more favorable and I feel like it's a great place for people who want to start out with content creation or get their content out there. So I really want to start doing TikToks and I also kind of want to start a blog, but that's just like maybe I would add it to my already portfolio. I don't really know. So we'll see. And then I'm going to make a 2021 vision board, which I am, of course, going to show you guys because I feel like that'll be really fun. And it's right up my alley because I love that kind of stuff. And then I want to clean and declutter and just purge my closet, purge my vanity, purge my life before school starts again, which I will probably film a separate video. I don't feel like doing that this week. Um, I want to get my new shoes in and kind of try on outfits and stuff before I purge my closet. I want to budget this week. Um, because 
we budgeted in 2021, which is something I should have been doing all along. And my mom's going to freaking watch this video and freaking kill me because she's been telling me that. But I realized that I spent a lot of money and just looking at my checking account, I'm really disappointed in myself. And there's not much I can do now because I just wasn't frugal and I wasn't watching my spending and I didn't care. But I think 2020 has a lot to do with that because I just like... I don't know, I was kind of just sad and I felt like the only happiness I found was through spending money, but that's not true. It's just, I I have no self-control. So 2021, I have a couple of things that I really want to save and work towards that are gonna be like big expenses. So a new camera, well, I don't have a camera. So just a camera because I film on my phone and I feel like if I'm really serious about YouTube, I just, I want a camera. And then I would like to get a new computer as well this year, just because I've had this MacBook for four years now and it's just very slow especially with like video editing and stuff um but yeah those are like two big purchases that i want to save towards but then i graduate undergrad in may and i plan on moving to a new state or just a new city to pursue a master's degree so i want to go to grad school in the fall or i'll defer my admission until next spring so i need to save for rent wherever that may be it's going to be a lot more than the college town that i live in now i can guarantee it because i'm looking at schools in chicago pittsburgh pennsylvania that sort of thing so rent is not cheap and so i just have to grow up and if i still go to grad school in my state i'll probably still move away i won't go to grad school at the same college that i got my undergrad at because i'm a fifth year senior i'm freaking tired of this place <laughs> But if I move to a different city, I'm going to buy a car. So it's just kind of like, I just need to budget and I need to save. And I'm also looking for another job. I've applied to a bunch of remote internships, but haven't heard anything back. And so I'm probably just gonna have to get another part-time job in my college town, which is fine. I might even have to get two more jobs um, just because my everyone's hours at my job now were cut. So it's, it's not enough to provide for myself for savings and I also need to budget for groceries and all of that sort of thing. So this is definitely going to be the year of saving and being frugal. So uh, don't expect a lot of unboxings or hauls like I just showed you earlier. That was me just getting it out of my system at the end of 2020. So it's 2021 now and it's time for me to grow up. So yeah, it's, it's going to be boring over here because I love shopping, but I will treat myself to things occasionally because I love purging my closet, you know, every couple months and I do sell things, but I definitely, the one thing that I really want is a camera, but I don't need anything. I have everything that I need. I am beyond blessed. I'm so grateful for everything that I have. That's what it is. So 2021 is going to be the year of growing our YouTube channel, getting good grades, having a healthy body, healthy mindset, big savings account. But yeah, so I'm going to get into my 2021 goals now. I'm going to put some music on and start writing in my journal. Um, and yeah, I'm just gonna take you along with me. So let's prep for 2021. Okay, quick intermission, but I just wanted to say that these zebra pens are amazing. My handwriting has never looked better and it's so easy. Like they just glide across the pages. So definitely linking this down below, pick them up. They're amazing. Cut, cut, cut. 
I just got back from the grocery store. We went to a couple of different places and I just sort of set everything out all nice and pretty. I really didn't get that much. Um, well, I did get a lot. So hopefully this will last a few weeks, but Sid's stuff isn't out here. Um, because he's going to take it to his apartment, but I'm just going to start over here. I'm almost out of pepper, so I just got a black pepper grinder. I'm almost out of olive oil, so I got this big thing of olive oil. And then I needed some dressing other than like ranch, and we didn't go to the store that sells my favorite dressing, so I just got this creamy lime and avocado dressing. I feel like that'll be good with salads and tacos. And then some spicy, I don't know how to pronounce that, but just spicy pasta sauce. And then... We used the rest of my rice last night, so I just got this big bag of rice. I eat rice probably more than anything else. So I got rice, and then I got some kind dark chocolate chunk little granola bars, and then I'm gonna try out these Lara Bar banana chocolate chip bars. So got those, and Walmart has these for like the cheapest price that I found, but I work early morning, so I don't have time to usually make a breakfast, so I normally don't eat breakfast, which is really bad, so I thought I would just get those to last me through my morning shifts, and then I got two kinds of bread, so golden wheat, I like to use this for grilled cheeses, BLTs, that sort of thing, and then I got whole grain, which I like to just use plain with some sort of breakfast, like spread on top, like Nutella or something, or just for like a normal like deli sandwich. And then I got some silk dairy-free half and half, some unsweetened vanilla almond milk. I've never tried the caramel natural bliss almond creamer. I love the vanilla one though, but I want to try the caramel. I feel like that'll be really good in hot coffee. And then I can't remember if I've had silk vanilla almond milk yogurt, so I just bought a small one just to see if I like it. And then I got two health shots, so I got a ginger shot. And then I also got a turmeric shot, and those are like so cheap at Aldi, literally the most affordable I can find. And then I got some flatbread because I love making flatbread pizza. And then my favorite spinach and herb wraps for like chicken wraps, breakfast burritos, that sort of thing. This is Sid's, he got two of these with these mozzarella, cherry tomato, and arugula frozen pizzas. These look delicious, so I'm gonna beg him if we can have this for dinner. And then I got shredded iceberg lettuce for like tacos, BLTs, some baby spinach, or salads, smoothies, that sort of thing. And then I got some spicy guacamole. This is my favorite, and I haven't had it in so long, so I'm glad I finally picked it up. Then I got some mushrooms for like pasta, flatbread pizza, ramen, that sort of thing. Some mini cucumbers, a mozzarella bowl, some tomatoes. I've never tried these, but they have I've heard really good things about them, so they're just the sea salt popcorn chips that are like gluten and free. And then, as far as frozen stuff goes, I got waffle cut fries, some chicken lo mein, and then some just sweet potato cubes. I really want to try eating these as a form of veggies. And then I got some turkey bacon, some ground turkey, and then some oven roasted deli turkey and smoked deli ham for sandwiches. And then I just got a red onion, and then as a treat, Sid and I got some donuts from Aldi because his birthday is tomorrow and we haven't had or donuts from hy because his birthday is tomorrow and we haven't had donuts in a long time so that is everything that I got like I said not a lot I feel like I'm forgetting a couple things but honestly pretty good and this should last me a couple of weeks along with some stuff that I still have in my fridge and my freezer so so this was our first time like budgeting at the grocery store and I feel like we did pretty well I spent less than I wanted to at Walmart, and then I spent about what I wanted to charge on my card, um, and then I went a little bit over because I bought like the donuts and stuff for his birthday, but that's pretty much it. So I feel like this is really good. There were a couple things that I didn't end up getting or that I just forgot, but I feel like for repurchasing a lot of food after like Christmas and stuff, this is really good. I can show you what's in my fridge already. So I still have quite a few things left in my freezer. Like I have popcorn chicken, popcorn shrimp, a bunch of vegetables, some ravioli, a bunch of like fruit, cauliflower, gnocchi. And then I have a bunch of eggs, tortillas, like chicken sausage. I still have some spinach, a bunch of apples. And then I have a bunch of pasta in the pantry. So I still have quite a bit to work with. I forgot a couple things, but I'll just get those again after payday. I just want to get some like chicken and just a couple like 
things to make like salads and stuff but this should last a good couple weeks honestly i feel like um at least until my little sister gets back because she eats my food too but yeah i feel like that's pretty good and for sticking to a budget the first time it's really nice and this we hadn't gone grocery shopping in weeks so the fact that i was still able to remain in budget and get a majority of what i would normally get at the store like on a budget is really good and normally i would only go gro grocery shopping every two weeks and then it'll be a way less expensive because i'm not repurchasing as many things like i repurchased a lot of stuff this time that i won't normally have to buy like olive oil pepper dressing rice that sort of thing so if you think about it for repurchasing a bunch of like necessities and stuff like that and kitchen essentials like it's pretty good so i'm gonna put all of this away now and then sid and i are gonna eat some lunch probably chill for a little bit i'm probably gonna start editing this vlog and then we might go like work out or do something later but yeah i'm feeling good feeling healthy happy at the start of the new year so yeah Have you filled my head recently? I've been thinking about your smiling hair instead of focusing on me. I've been focusing on you. Memories of the time we spent back when we were okay, guys. It is now 1 30, and I just made myself some coffee. The caramel creamer is actually really, really good. I really, really like it. It's a nice change up because I only ever buy vanilla. <laughs> um, and I'm just gonna sit here and do my journaling for the day. And then I'm going to transfer over all of the footage from that I've vlogged so far onto my hard drive and then probably start editing here in a little bit. And then I'm probably just gonna chill. I want to make a new YouTube banner today as well because Unfortunately, Christmas is over, Vlogmas is over, so I need to make a new updated one for the new year. So that's literally all I'm gonna be doing. My boyfriend just went home, so I have the rest of the day and night to myself, and then I work tomorrow morning, and then it's his birthday, so we're gonna celebrate him. Obviously not doing anything, just gonna cook at home, chill, whatever. I might take him out for ice cream, but we're not really doing much. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna sit here and journal. almost 2 30 i'm chilling in my bed it's freezing in my apartment right now but it's almost 2 30 like i said i just watched a couple youtube videos and then i made my thumbnail for this vlog and now i'm going to start editing so this can go up sometime tomorrow um but yeah i'll catch up with you guys in a little bit because i'm just gonna chill here and edit okay like guys so i just looked up mad foot warm up on the tv i'm sorry i have a really old tv but i think i want to do this 12 minute music warm up just because it has harry styles and mac miller and i love them and then i'm probably gonna do one of her core workouts and then maybe one of her like ballet pilates or whatever workouts so i'm gonna do this and yeah this is gonna be really fun i'm not gonna film it but I'm definitely excited to do this. Okay guys, I'm done with my workout. It's 7.30 now and I let myself cool down. I did just a 20 minute workout and I just filled up my water bottle and let myself cool down, but I'm not super hungry yet. So I'm just gonna take a shower now. We'll drink a little bit more water and then just shower and then probably have dinner. Probably nothing too heavy, maybe just a salad or some oatmeal or something. Moving my body for 20 minutes literally made me feel so good. I mean, I'm really tired. I'm like kind of shaking. <laughs> 
even though that was like technically supposed to be just an easy workout, but we all have to start somewhere and I'm just getting back into the swing of things and into a healthy routine and incorporating healthy habits just day by day. But yeah, definitely, if you're watching this and you haven't moved today, get up. You don't necessarily have to work out. Just take a walk around the block, your apartment complex, or if you want to do just an at-home workout. Just going to cool down for a little bit and then hop in the shower really quick, make some dinner. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog so far. Um, sorry, it's like 98% of the vlog is just me talking, but I'm super happy to get the new year started off on a very productive note. And I just feel like this year is going to be really good so hopefully in comparison to 2020 that is but yeah i'm just gonna chill also here's a reminder to subscribe if you haven't already not sure how much more i'll vlog tonight just because this vlog is already half an hour um long but i want to make a vision board tonight and then just chill for a little bit but i work early in the morning so i have to have an early night as well so i'm just gonna stop blabbing go shower eat dinner make my vision board and just chill for the rest of the night I can be a rock star, baby But I'm selling CDs out the trunk of my car I could be a rich guy, maybe But I make ten dollars and I want you to get by I, I, I'm sick of standing on the edge I, I, I'm sick of staying in my bed I, I, I should make something of myself I can be a nice guy, baby But I leave you hanging for the 17th time I can do the bad thing, baby But I've been catching L's every day of my life I, I, I'm sick of standing on the edge I, I, I'm sick of staying in my bed I, I, I should make something of myself I, I, something Get a detox, maybe Clean up all the alcohol I drank from last night I, I, I'm sick of standing on the edge I, I, I'm sick